I'm sorry, I just cannot get off of that. Why are you dating your best friend's ex? What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be talking about the worst relationships on Pretty Little Liars. Now, I have this already like developing series on my channel. If you guys saw my worst relationship of the Vampire Diaries, we're gonna be bringing it to PLL. Some of these couples were out of nowhere. Some of these couples were just because the writers were bored and some of these couples were just terrible. I know y'all can guess which couple is the absolute worst on Pretty Little Liars. This is the one that everyone just absolutely hate obviously it's Arya and Ezra but I feel like there's a, a bunch of couples from Pretty Little Liars that just had no business being together before we get into the video guys don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all my other rankings playlists I'll leave those down in the description and you guys can check that out after the video all right the first ship that I just did not like that honestly just pissed me off so bad on Pretty Little Liars was Spencer and Caleb I saw some people defending Spencer they were like oh she didn't break the girl code by dating Hannah's ex. Spencer knows how much Hannah loved Caleb. Like because Caleb and Hannah's relationship was just so perfect, break up or not, like they were soulmates. So I, I find that kind of like, mm, I don't know, weird that she would date her ex knowing how much they loved each other. That is a girl code that you just cannot break. Like Spencer, that was kind of questionable to me. I was looking at her kind of sideways after that. But yeah, they just weren't right for each other. Like they're just, two big personalities spencer is a really big personality caleb is super like stubborn oriented you know they just did not make sense at all together i'm sorry i just cannot get off of that why are you dating your best friend's ex like why i don't care if hannah was like oh i'm not i'm not upset about it hannah like spencer should know they were literally in love with each other like they were soulmates why would you why spencer why don't get me wrong i love spencer but like that was just one of the worst like most questionable things she's ever done in the show like i feel like that was awful what she did to hannah like the relationship number one didn't even work out it was like a waste of time so why even do that like mm, the friendship would low-key be over if i was hannah honestly i like I, I get like people being upset that oh what about what about caleb he deserves some backlash too yeah but i feel like because spencer is hannah's best friend like that was just a no-no and she literally just broke the code like i'm sorry like no never again please all right the next couple we're gonna be talking about is emily and allison okay i can't say this one came out of nowhere because in even from season one we could see like emily had a thing for allison but i feel like in season one allison was kind of like playing her like i don't know she was kind of playing her it was kind of toxic it was still kind of like a build up to their relationship so it didn't come out of nowhere i just don't like how they went about it like you know they have they get the kids and then in the spinoff they say that they got a divorce but what was the reason? I don't know. Like it was just so they 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 went about it wrong. It potentially like could have been one of the best relationships in the show. And when it was happening, I was actually really excited for it. But they just went about it so wrong. Even in season one, Allison was literally would sometimes even use the fact that Emily liked girls as a way to like weaponize it against her and like her little snarky comments. But then she came back around and forgave her, and then that's when the whole ending of the show happened and they got together. I just feel like it just wasn't done right by the writers and then like what's the point of making them get married for one season and then making them get a divorce in the spinoff emily obviously had no shortage of bad relationships in the show i feel like every almost every relationship she was in just was not done right by the writers probably just because they don't know how to write a good i don't know lgbt plus relationship so i just feel like she was just done dirty in the like love department in pretty little liar speaking of emily the next relationship is her and Paige. emily rejected Paige so many times before they actually ended up making it official like at this point it felt like emily was like okay what the heck let's just go out i don't know i feel like Paige used the fact that allison was emily's friend and allison used to bully her as a way like you know your punishment is let's go out y'all already know i don't like Paige. if you watch my pll character rankings i just don't like her at all she was very obnoxious and i just feel like every time her and emily were together it was always emily trying to make up for something to Paige. i don't know i feel like it was a job like their relationship was an obligation for emily emily just got the short end of the stick every relationship allison bullied her so that, you know and then they made up and got together Paige literally tried to kill her and then they made them go out like and they tried to ruin the whole Emily and Maya thing by introducing Maya's cousin into the show. That guy, do you guys remember the guy they tried to introduce as a family member of Maya's who ended up actually trying to kill Emily? <laughs> 
like way to like put a bow on how badly their relationship <laughs> turned out in the show like they try to make the audience i guess disconnect from maya just to make emily move on to Paige. i feel so bad that Paige and emily their relationship actually lasted so long in the show like it was just awful but yeah it, in just all realness like i just realized that they basically just killed maya just to make Paige and Emily happen even though there was almost no buildup there was this tension between them before they started dating they like hated each other they were on the swim team and hated each other and then suddenly they have feelings for each other like what I don't know let's move on all right the next relationship we're gonna be talking about is Spencer and Toby was I the only one at the beginning of Pretty Little Liars who wanted well before I knew that Emily you know she was she was into girls wanted Emily and Toby together I feel like they had a good buildup she was the only one who basically believed that he didn't kill Allison she was actually the first person to trust him in the town so I don't know maybe in a different timeline they would have been better but I always felt like him and Spencer were kind of hit or miss for me all right the next relationship we're going to be talking about or kind of relationship that happened for a short period of time is Spencer and Ren not only was Spencer very weird for always going after her sister's boyfriends literally not even her sister's exes every guy her sister was dating she would try to go after i.e Ian and now Ren her and Ren though actually ended up for a while like they actually were seeing each other for a while which I feel like was so weird number one she was in high school and he was actually a grown man not that that's anything you know we've never seen before in Pretty Little Liars but I just feel like it was so weird that he kept pursuing her number one not only are you dating her sister she's a student she's a high school student and you're a grown man and then Spencer knowing this knowing that your sister's dating this guy she still was pursuing him even even after she said you know what I can't do this to Melissa she still would go after Ren Spencer was low-key <laughs> a homewrecker low-key even though Ren and Ian weren't the best guys in Rosewood they were actually you know very petty very shady in the show and ended up actually being you know bad for them Spencer I feel like she like she she knows better like she's one of the smartest in the show and still would just always go after Melissa's guys I, I was completely and 100 percent on melissa's side every time spencer would end up with her boyfriend i i get why she wanted to move away from the house for a while because like what was wrong with her obviously some people came to spencer's defense saying oh she's a she's a kid she doesn't know any better but no the fact that she did it consistently and that's what she was known for was so weird like her and Ren, I feel like it was prolonged a little too long for me. I guess Spencer just loves going after guys that her friends or family dates did it to Hannah and she does it to her sister all the time. Spencer was just the biggest homewrecker in the show. Surprised she didn't go after Ezra <laughs> at one point. And speaking of predators, the last relationship we're going to be talking about is the biggest disaster of Pretty Little Liars. Arya and Ezra. Now you guys know if you watch my other PLL videos how I feel about this couple. I just I just feel like there's no excuse in the world that could make this relationship justified. Obviously we know from the reveal that Ezra actually knew who she was. He knew who all of them were. He knew who all of the liars was on the show. He knew all of them. So number one he planned this. He knew they were underage. He planned it. So the whole oh I didn't know how old you were when we met was a total lie. Arya found this out and she still decided to marry him. Not to mention he also lied about having a kid with another woman to her like that should have been well the relationship should have never happened in the first place but that should have been the part where Arya broke up with him when she found out that he had a kid like I feel like that was so like all the signs were there and her friends like Arya's friends like Spencer Emily Hannah like they could have why couldn't they talk some sense into that girl and tell her okay he's lying about having a child now and a, a whole child break up with him none of them gave her that advice none of them and let's not forget her parents actually approved after like hating Ezra they literally gave up and let their daughter date a grown man I don't know I just feel like there were so many like things that Ezra did wrong to her to like show her snap some sense into her head that this guy is not it like literally lied to her multiple occasions almost got her 
killed and was actually using her pain and suffering to write a book. He did not care about Arya at all and I'm, I'm surprised and shocked that she did not once notice this. Like he did not care about her at all. Also another thing that should have made Arya literally kick him to the curb is the fact that he kissed Allison. He knew Allison, pursued her, kissed her for the sake of his book. Like he literally tried to groom one of your friends. I'm convinced Arya just just hated herself. She just wanted this. But yeah, all of her friends though, like parents and everyone else who knew about the relationship were also at fault. No one tried to put a stop to Arya and Ezra's relationship at all in the show. Like it was, it's kind of sick. Now that I'm thinking about it, no one tried to put a stop to it. Anyways, y'all know I don't even like Arya in the first place, so you know what? Hey, they deserve each other, and they ended with each other. Crazy that it ended up being, like, the perfect, and one of the only perfect couples of PLL. Literally, Hannah and Caleb suffered, Toby and Spencer broke up and got back together, Emily and Allison ended up having a divorce in the Perfectionist spinoff, but Arya and Ezra literally ended up being the only perfect successful couple in the show <laughs> i have no words all right guys that was me talking about the worst relationships of pretty little liars let me know any other terrible pairings on the show that you guys did not like at all leave them down in the comments because i feel like there are so many more weird pairings relationships couples that happened on the show that just did not deserve to be together also guys don't forget to leave your video requests in the comments as well leave any videos you guys want to see on the channel going forward and i'll also be sure to check those out in the comments afterwards be sure to check out all my other rankings character rankings and commentary videos i'll leave the link to those playlists in the description and you guys can check that out after the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys very soon in the next one